Not only getting the win like this, but against obviously against Denver, defending champs, no Booker, um, and what it means. You talked about before, just keep playing, and that things will turn. How big is that in that sense tonight? Yeah, I mean, you look at the totality of the season. I mean, obviously the end result is always most important. Having playing in the playoffs, trying to win the championship, that stuff is important. But you, you celebrate little moments when you, you know, struggle with the team. Not too many people know what you go through. Right. You know, when you have two, three games slide and you're not playing well, and it's long field sessions you go through. So. It's a game within the game sometimes, and it's good to, you know, challenge ourselves with what we did tonight and come out with a W. So, you know, it's good to celebrate these little things and move on, but uh, we also know that we have a bigger picture in mind. What does that feel like in the overtime when all those shots start going out? I mean, it's just a lot of averages, man. It's just a, that's what our game is about, you know. Sometimes, you know, you're going to have some misses, and, but it always comes back around. You know, they, they miss some shots early on in that first quarter. I mean, that fourth quarter. Wide open looks, and then they came back and hit some big shots in the end of the fourth and put them up and, and to cut the lead. So you know, it's just a that's just the nature of the game. You know, it's ebb and flows, and you know, he was able to uh, catch the right flow at the right time and make some shots in overtime. Kev, yeah, you said this is the toughest place to play in the league right now, or certainly up there. How much of that is because of Nikola Jokic? And I know you've given him plenty of praise, but just yeah, how unique man. he is. Yeah, it's just uh, a lot of it is at the altitude, and then of, of course you're two-time MVP and the champ. You're gonna make everything tough on you, but I think they built around him perfectly. When you got long, athletic guys like Aaron Gordon and uh, MPJ and Peyton Watson and Christian Brown, like they built around him nice. So obviously he's the head of the snake, but I think they got. I mean, you can't forget about Jamal Murray just to. Big time shot maker, you can do everything. So yeah, they got. It's not just him, although he is the face and the head of the snake. But you know, they. The great thing about Coach Malone, he makes everybody useful out there, and they make it tough for everybody. Like every team I played will always support me in that way. And want to see me do well. And Brad's been a great teammate since I've been playing with them. So you know, and sometimes I look up, I miss seven, eight shots in a row. I want to get off of it and let everybody else play, but. It's that they kept coming to me and trusting in me, and glad I was able to knock some down. When you get that one shot, obviously to tie the game and force overtime, maybe just take me through when you're seeing the the ball coming. You're like, okay, this has got to go up, regardless yeah. of how I've been shooting. This has got to go up. Uh, yeah, Aaron Gore pressed me a bit, and he knew I was going to shoot it. And he pressed me a bit, and I still was able to took a couple dribbles to get it, get it loose a little bit, and I felt good leaving my hands. That was a huge shot. I was just remember hearing the crowd just. Go silent, and that's right. always a good feeling on the road. So um, it's big. I mean, I needed that individually. Obviously, we needed that as a team, and it was it was good to that kind of turn momentum in our favor just a little bit. How much did that carry over though in the OT? Because after that, it was just like your flow was there. Yeah, I mean, I think once we came out the OT and they got the uh, chip, we was able to get the stop a steal, and I think that right. helped us as well, being able to. Uh, not even let them get a shot up, get a steal. We was able to run out. We got good looks the whole whole team, and that three, two threes I made felt good leaving my hands. And, you know, so it was, it was, it was, that was a perfect game of just like staying resilient and knowing that it's peaks and valleys, and everything. Magnificent down the street. <laughs> it was what I was going to ask. What was it like seeing him be him? Just be you, man. Just be you. Uh -huh. Whatever that is, we don't care. You know, uh, go be you. Be dominant. Uh, be aggressive. Him being aggressive at all times is what's best for us. You know, uh, no matter where he is on the floor, where he has the ball, or if he's off the ball, like he, he, he understands that he has to be involved. Um, and he he made it more intentional of, of, of putting his stamp on the game tonight.